and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome here to the player ratings for Espanyol against Barcelona tonight. And we're going to be going over all of the starting 11 and also the substitutes and also a mark at the end for Ernesto Valverde in a game that he very much rotated and in the end it has backfired a little bit. Barcelona nil, Espanyol 1. We have gone down in the first leg of our Copa del Rey quarterfinal but obviously in that second leg next week at the Camp Nou we will certainly be looking to bounce back strongly. So we're going to start as always with the Aspasillison and the marks right across the board tonight are not very high at all. Obviously we lost. I think overall the performance wasn't great from the guys. So Jaspersillison, I'm going to go with quite a high on the night. 7.5 because I think for the goal, Sillison, nothing at all he can do about that. It's a very, very good finish from close range. There's no chance that he can save that. A few minutes before that though, he did make a very, very good save one-handed from a free kick. I thought he dealt quite well with balls at his feet. He wasn't really called upon throughout the game. You know, Espanyol didn't have many shots on goal whatsoever. So Sillison tonight with what he had to do, he couldn't really do much about the goal for that reason. 7.5 Jasper Sillison. Lucas Digne, I am going to go with 6 out of 10 for Lucas Digne. Now, I don't think he was terrible tonight. I think going forward, as always, he's a bit limited. He doesn't really give you enough offensively as Jordi Alba does. He doesn't really make those destructive runs in behind. He didn't really give Messi an option a lot of the time. And also, I think defensively tonight, usually where he's very, very solid, there's usually not many mistakes coming from Lucas Digne. The goal did tonight come from his side. He allows the cross to to come in, he gets beaten down the right hand side, the ball's then cut back and Espanyol scores, so tonight for me Lucas Digne, 6 out of 10 and for Sergio Roberto on the other side I'm going to go with 6.5 out of 10 6.5, simply because tonight I think Sergio Roberto, I think he could have done with the rest to be perfectly honest, I think he had a really really difficult game against Real Sociedad, he was really really worked hard by Wanmi by William Jose, getting in behind really causing him some problems, and I think tonight we should have started Nelson Semedo it would have given us a lot of pace in that kind of area Area. And I think you could have coped a bit better tonight because Sergio Roberto did struggle a few times. He was late on a few challenges. Obviously, he did well going forward. He won us the penalty. He was very close to winning us one just before that as well. And he wasn't bad tonight, Sergio Roberto. But I just think, given the circumstances, he's played a lot of football of late. And it would have been very, very simple tonight to use Nelson Semedo and play him in this kind of game. In terms of the centre backs, I'm going to go with 6.5 out of 10 for Thomas of Marlon. He was absolutely majestic against Real Sociedad. Really, really good from him in that game. In this game, though, he wasn't quite at that same level. Again, he's another one right now who's played a lot of football. And I think had maybe Mascherano been fit, Mina been available, Valverde certainly would have rotated the centre-backs. I think both of them have been used a lot lately. But obviously, we're very short right now in terms of who we can bring in, who we can rotate at centre-back. For that reason, for Marlon, 6.5. I'm going to go with PK at slightly higher than that. 7 for PK, simply because he seemed to lead the team tonight. And he always does in these big occasions, particularly against Espanyol. He's never received well there. But he really did stand up to the occasion quite a few times you saw him gesticulating shouting at players telling them to switch on obviously it didn't really work out in the end that way but PK did his best tonight I thought he led from the back and he did well in terms of his defensive responsibilities into midfield then and this is the man of the match highest mark on the night Sergio Busquets I'm going to give him 8.5 out of 10 simply because the some of the things that he did in the first half was absolutely sensational even in the second half as well he controlled the play well from midfield even though the players around him tonight were very unfamiliar I think Denis Suarez, Alex Vidal at times dropping in, Rafinha came on. A lot of these guys haven't really played a lot of time together. Alenia as well coming on. So Busquets did well in that midfield to hold it all together, still be able to create, still be able to do what he does best on the ball. And I thought he was really, really good, particularly in that first half. Like I say, some absolutely magical moments on the ball and real moments to remember come the end of the game. So Busquets, my man of the match, 8.5 out of 10 for him. Then on to Carlos Alenia. And I have to say, for a young guy coming through, a Barcelona, a B player starting in a game like this away in Espanyol in a derby match it was a really really feisty atmosphere it was very very hostile and I think he did really well to control all that emotion he looked very much comfortable on the ball he looked confident and I think coming into the first team this is the sign of a very very promising young player he didn't buckle under his surroundings he took everything in his stride and I think he did everything on the ball he was looking to be positive he played some very nice passes he made some good runs he set up Denis Suarez for a good chance and I think overall in that final third he was very very good tonight. One of our most offensive players from that midfield area, and he did some good things. So credit the Carlos Alenia tonight. I'm going to go with 7.5 out of 10, which on the night is a pretty good rating. Paulinho alongside him had to go off, unfortunately, due to an injury problem. He's got a foot injury, another injury to add to our injury list. As of yet, unknown how long he's going to be out for. We will hear from the club very, very shortly, though, I would expect. I'm going to give him 6.5 out of 10 tonight, like a lot of the other players in the midfield area. I just don't think there was enough, really, for him tonight. He didn't really do what he usually does going forward. 
forward. He wasn't involved in the final three. Didn't really start those combinations with Lionel Messi. And I think tonight was really a night that Messi could have done with some help. He could have done with somebody just in behind him, giving him some support. And I think in that first half, Paulinho didn't quite provide him with that. Obviously, Paulinho would have liked to be on the pitch for a little more time. He would like to be involved in that second half. But he did request this of himself. And clearly, he had a bit of a problem. So 6.5 on the night for Paulinho. Then on to the wider players in Denis Suarez. First of all, I'm going to go also with 6.5 out of 10 tonight for Denis Suarez. Again, he wasn't really involved enough. He didn't really do enough when he got the ball. A lot of the time, he was looking for the safe option. He was going sideways. He was going backwards. It could be a sign of a lack of confidence right now. I think that's what we're seeing from Denis Suarez. In front of goal, though, against Celta and again tonight against Espanyol. Two good chances in one in each game. He should be scoring from those kind of positions. If he's going to play in those wider roles, he's got to be more clinical in front of goal. And that's why I questioned why maybe Arnaith wasn't in the team tonight. He's a lot more clinical when it comes to those kind of areas. He maybe doesn't give you as much creativity in that midfield. But like I say, Denis Suarez right now suffering from a lack of confidence. He's not as creative. He's not as good as he usually is. And for me tonight, not quite good enough again from Denis. Unfortunately, he didn't take his chance. 6.5 out of 10. And for me, Alex Vidal was even worse. He gets the worst mark on the night for me. 5 out of 10 for Alex Vidal. I really did think he was that bad tonight. And I think he was playing today. Obviously, it looks like he's probably going to move on in this January transfer window. And on this performance tonight, you can see why. Vidal, for me, wasn't involved at all tonight. He didn't make the right runs. Every time he got on the ball, it seemed to stop. It seemed to halt. It seemed to delay it. And I just think right now, our wide options are really, really limited. That's why we need to see how they are nice being included in the squad frequently right now. We need somebody, especially with Dembele out injured, we need somebody in those kind of areas. And obviously, when Coutinho gets back, that's going to be a massive, massive plus. He can play in the wider areas as well. And that is what we're craving right now. Some quality there. Because Vidal didn't show it tonight. Denise didn't show it tonight and we really really need those areas to be good quality players and right now we're not seeing it and finally, on to Lionel Messi, who gets an 8 out of 10 for me. I thought once again, in that first half, he was the only player, really, who was going forward and causing problems. There was a few times in that first half he was skipping past defenders, he was getting into the Espanyol box, and he was creating things all on his own. He had a good few shots at Diego Lopez. Obviously, the penalty was a downside of his game tonight. He missed the penalty, a very big moment. We could have taken the lead. But like I said in the review video, I didn't really blame Messi for that. It was a great save from Diego Lopez. All the credit should go to the goalkeeper there. It was a magnificent save with his left hand. Messi can't really be blamed for that one. So Messi, 8 out of 10 tonight. He didn't really have enough support. He tried to do as much as he could on his own and he was really really unlucky not to score with a fantastic volley. He took it on his chest, took the ball down, had a swing at it with his left foot and it was a really really good save from Diego Lopez once again to deny Lionel Messi on the night. On to the substitutes then. I'm going to give Rakitic a 6.5 rating on the night. He didn't really give us an awful lot in that midfield area. He did produce a few nice passes later on but he actually nearly cost us in our own half. He was taking the ball on, he was too slow to move it on, he was dilly-dallying on the ball really in front of our own box, loses it and we were very, very lucky. Luckily he made the foul, only a yellow card, but Espanyol could have been in there and it was a big mistake really from Ivan Rakitic on the night, which is disappointed because he's been really, really good of late under Valverde. In the last few weeks, he's really been steadily improving, improving his confidence. Luis Suarez came on him and the about the arrow mark, didn't really do a lot either. I would go with a 6.5 for Suarez as well. Maybe he didn't really feel good coming off the bench. He had 20 minutes or so to prove himself to come on and get in the game and it didn't really happen and the same really for Rafinha he had 10 minutes and really didn't get on the ball enough didn't have enough of a chance to prove himself so overall tonight not really great from the majority of the players it wasn't really a good performance all around the board in terms of a mark for Ernesto Valverde I'm going to go with 7.5 out of 10 tonight I really don't think it was a bad mistake from Valverde to rotate the team tonight I completely understand why he did that but like I say I would have played personally Semedo at right back I think Roberto needed a rest tonight he could have really been done with taking out the firing line and I don't really understand as well why our knife wasn't included in some capacity. He could have given us something in those wide areas, some that Vidal didn't, some that Denis Suarez didn't and personally also I would have left Carlos Alini out there a little bit longer because like I say in that first half he showed some very good signs and I don't think personally he deserved to be taken off that early in the game as the first sub. So overall tonight it wasn't a good result, it wasn't a good performance but the most important thing is we have a second leg to turn it round it's at the camp now where we have been un 
unbelievably good this season. Under Valverde, we've been brilliant in the last few weeks. Nothing should take the shine off that. We're going to get back to winning ways very, very soon indeed. And right now, all the attention on that game at the weekend, away at Real Betis. Not an easy game. We're going to be somewhere near our best to get the victory there. And we'll need to do that to get the three points. So let me know what your thoughts down below, guys. Let me know, of course, your player ratings. What would you rate each player out of 10 tonight? Please let me know that in the comments down below. And I will see you, of course, in the coming days with more videos as we continue our season and our quest for glory. I'll see you soon. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Barça, Barça, Barça.